waste and there is no time like the present. We're gonna get right into the video. Three things that successful do people do before 8 a.m. I was hesitant, but I decided to make this video because I have been getting up very early for the past few months and I was a person that despised waking up early and it took me some time to get to that point where I, now I enjoy waking up early. I'm now getting up at 5 a.m. and I've been going to bed super, super early. So it's been a life-changing thing for me. And hopefully this will be a life-changing for you even if you're working from home or unemployed and trying to figure out your life. Starting off waking up earlier before the world wakes up. It's like we're like in a <clears throat> game simulation. I feel like I always say this. Like in my videos if it's a video game if you wake up before the world wakes up you have time to do what the world needs of you for me my child needs me to make sure she gets ready and get dressed for the day she's seven years old so by 6 30 a.m i need to make sure all the things that i need to do is done whatever your thing may be it may be your dog it may be your sibling or your family member that's sharing a bathroom or whatever the case may be set your time accordingly so you won't have to run into issues if you're up before them and doing the things that you need to do you won't run into the issues of i can't wake up early or when i wake up early something happens you can time yourself accordingly the very first thing that is super important for people that want to have a successful morning when they start before 8 a.m is the ritual of unlearning unlearning what happened yesterday cannot come to today yes it may come up later on like an issue an argument or um something that you were um disappointed about that you like, messed up your morning I woke up today, you won't believe the things that happened to me last night. I was actually very sad, crying, upset. But today I woke up at 5 a.m., went straight to the gym. I did cardio for an hour. I worked out, weight lifted, got my daughter ready for school, did my devotions all before 8 a.m. And my daughter's at school, I've taken a shower, I'm now I'm doing my YouTube videos, I am contacting people, getting connected with people that I haven't in a long time because I did not let what yesterday upsets and struggles come into today. The sooner you write down like yesterday is done and leave it at that, the better your morning is going to be because yes issues are going to happen throughout the day i'm not saying nobody's life's perfect but if you dwell on what happened what bad happened last night or the day before and that's the first thing you're dwelling on in the morning this is why i am so strong about social media i took three months off from february to may this year where i didn't get on any social media except youtube like looking at long form content but i didn't have any social media to compare myself to i didn't have anything i just had youtube and that kind of changed my life and i'm about to go back on to that because i was going through a phase of my life where friendship relationships a lot of breakups it was just a totally new thing of finding the people that i needed to be around and yeah i didn't have social media for three months and i was never happy i i've, I've haven't been happier and now I'm, i've been getting back in that mode of social media and you realize and you feel like yourself is you need to unlearn the habit of being on social media first and giving your energy and life to social media first it's time to delete it i've deleted mine today and we're gonna see how many months we can go until i feel like i need it back successful people don't let yesterday wins or losses affect to today or tomorrow they're worrying about their new wins and whatever challenges they may face today why why be burdened about the loss that you had yesterday oh i didn't read oh i didn't work out yesterday i didn't do this do it today who said you couldn't do it today that's the that's the big thing who said you couldn't cry last night but you can't be super happy the next day that's not bipolar that's making a choice of not being settling in sadness and wallowing in your misery get over it second thing do the unexpected what is something unexpected for you for me it's waking up at 5 a.m it's me jumping out of the bed that scares me when i get up at 5 a.m and i have complete energy i woke up today at 4 45 a.m 
Like my brain has a natural alarm clock now that I'm up between 4.30 to 4.45 a.m. And I'm up and I'm like, at this point, why would I go back to sleep? I'm supposed to be getting up at 5 a.m. anyways. Do the unexpected. If getting in a cold shower, hopping in a cold shower is going to wake you up. And you, I can't even say go outside because today, this morning, I was going to the gym at 5.15, 5.20 a.m. And it was pitch black outside. It, it's no sun. Your circadian rhythm is off. It's like everything. Oh, I'm supposed to be starting the day, but the world is sleeping. Do something unexpected. If your usual thing is to pick up your phone in the morning, pick up a god doggone book. P pick up some motivation. Do, mo do, do a freaking meditation for 15 minutes. I don't know. Do something that's totally not you that's unexpected. For me, it was waking up before 5 a.m. And when I challenge myself and I'm getting up and I'm working out for now two hours a day that's crazy I used to cannot do a mile and yesterday I did five miles today I did three miles I'm gonna do another two miles later on but do the unexpected when you challenge yourself to do something different and out of your comfort zone you're like oh I can do this I can wake up and do these things that you know I wasn't successful at write down three things that you're not successful at in the morning is it waking up is it doing your skincare routine is it drinking your morning tea instead of morning coffee what are the changes that you want to take away that's the challenge if your challenge is you're so used to getting eight cups of coffee before you even step foot in your office or step foot in your day and you want to change it to three cups then do that we gotta have some withdrawal I, I, that's why i don't depend on coffee i can literally wake up without having anything. I can literally wake up at 5 a.m. without having nothing. The only few times is maybe when I was on vacation, I was just so drowsy and it was like a time zone change and I needed to force myself to be up. But my everyday, I don't drink coffee. I am just naturally happy to be awake. And the third thing is, it's called the silent strategy. Pretty much doing everything that you would normally do but do it quietly to yourself and take your time do not rush in the morning successful people don't rush do you know how many accidents do you know how many people that have died rushing in the morning leaving their kids in the car because they're rushing in the mor morning the spirit of rushing is not good that is not successful doing things in a quick pace do you would you rather wake up at 7 a.m get an extra couple hours of sleep and then you're rushing for work trying to brush your teeth do your mouthwash eat breakfast get your bag ready together do your meeting with your friend after work you're trying to get everything together within 20 minutes now you're late for the train late for the bus why put yourself in that predicament you don't have to put yourself in those predicaments wake up at the crack ass of dawn it sucks Trust me, I, nobody really wants to do it until they start doing it and you feel so much better. Right now it's like 10.30 and I've done so much today. The day is like, the day is, the day is still alive and I have felt so successful because I've done something physically, I've done something mentally and I've done something spiritually. And what, I, what happened yesterday, am I letting it affect me today? No. Maybe I'm not upset about it, maybe, but it's not stopping me from doing my things that I need to do to be successful in the morning. That is how successful people do the things they want to do. If you want to be happy, do the things that you say you want to do. If you want to study Spanish on your car drive or your train ride and you're waiting till like 11 p.m. when you're already sleeping and tired, you're not going to remember anything you learned. What? Let's be real. Let's be real, y'all. Did my notes three things get it together <laughs> that's the three things get it together get it together stop depending on your alarm clock to wake you up you have to be disciplined enough to want to wake up once you get up out of the bed and literally walk, go walk to the bathroom if it's 5 a.m and you don't want to necessarily do anything and you're like oh, i don't want to wake up early just walk to the bathroom and go pee walk to the bathroom go pee drink some water drink a ton of water go pee move around for a little bit walk downstairs if you have stairs walk in circles turn on all the lights because the sun's not out right now turn them all turn on all the lights and i guarantee you you'll be up and you can have a successful start of your